Hello, welcome to Ball Street. It's the Social Club. We're here to discuss all the big news stories coming out of the weekend. Uh, we've got Josh making his debut from Reed Man City. We've, of course, got the man, the legend, Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV. Debut. What? My debut. Not your debut. <laughs> You've, been here. You've been here before. Uh, you know you know your stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm Pev from Toffee TV as well, who's also sensational. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, first topic we're going to be discussing, Jamie Vardy. He had a party. Someone probably said something they shouldn't and got chinned. Um, <laughs> just, what do you think? I mean, look, taking all things aside, it's a phenomenal achievement for him to break that record. It's a perfect underdog story, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, coming from non-league, you know, making a step up with Leicester to the Premier League, and then it's unheard of, really, for a player like that. Um, but he's sort of in like a Harry Kane sort of uh, form, really, yeah. um, where everything... He's, you know, he, he touches, you know, he's the goal. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and, you know, he's, he's deserved it, really. He's, you know, he's a willing runner. He's, you know, he puts himself about. And, uh, you know, he's, he's shown, you know, he deserves to be at this level. You know, and he's, uh, he's, he's, he's providing the goods at the moment. And, it's, you know, it's, he's, everyone's loving him at the moment, you know. It's crazy, isn't it? Because, you know, there was pictures going out about how, was it like four years ago or whatever, he, was, he, was, he scored for Fleetwood. On this day, not Blackpool. I don't know who said that last week. That was wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> so much abuse in the comments. Um, but no, it's 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 phenomenal. You're right. It's like the we and we've I think we've made this joke already, but it's it's like the Rocky story, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's the kind of stuff that doesn't happen. It's it's. Well, I was gonna say Roy of the Rovers, but he was just boss consistently. But to see him come up there and to do it, and, and particularly the, the the poetry of him doing it against Man United and mm. all that kind of stuff. It's very, very sweet. No, he's, he's, he's a brilliant... You know, you know, I want people to stop doing though. Like, now I give him the credit he deserves because I still feel that every time people are talking about him, it's almost like as if it's just a fluke. Oh, Jamie Vardy, look at him with his goals. Yeah, yeah. but whereas, you know, <laughs> the guy... He's, and his Lonsdale training. You know, apart from probably Aguirre at the moment, he's the best striker in the Premier League. No, oh, absolutely. Right? And people need to give him... I, I remember when he came up against us, I was really, really impressed with him. Really quick, really sharp, and I want people to give him the the right credit now because he's it's not just yes the non league story and all that that's great, but this guy's a proper proper Premier League player. And, yeah. You know, if he wasn't what he's about twenty eight now, if he's a bit younger, I'd be hoping that someone like Arsenal would sign him. Yeah, he's that good. Yeah, well, he's, I'm, he's, got, I'm the really right, he's got the right kind of injury record, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> that's what's true. What's he fit him perfectly. What do you reckon, Fred? <laughs> it's a great story. I mean. Just something Robbie said there. I, I I do want to see him do it over like two or three seasons. Yeah. Because we've all seen the Marcus Stewarts and people like that. But it's phenomenal, and I love the story, and I love that it's happened. And and um, what it proves to me is that getting to the Premier League is not the be all and end all. Yeah. That's actually where the hard work starts. And that we see so many players who think they've made. I mean, look at the stuff about Jack Grealish at the moment. You know, he's mm. out all the time. He's done nothing in the yeah. game. You know, I watched him last week against us. It was garbage, yeah. absolute garbage. I believe the question was, what is Jack, Jack what, Grealish? What is Jack, yeah. <laughs> and it's great to see a player in the Premier League get better as, it, as, he's, as he's progressed in the Premier League. And it would have been a great story just coming from non-league and getting to the Premier League. But it's, it, I seen him last season, first day of the season. I didn't think he was... He was all right, he was a willing yeah. runner. And to see him actually have intelligence now... And become a finisher as well. And also a lot of credit to Ranieri as well because he's basically set a team around him. Yeah. Um, but there's, there's, a, there's a lot of stupid managers out there. Why does everyone keep playing a high line against Leicester? Yeah. The team is built around him <laughs> and a quick break. And a lot of teams are letting him do this. But fair credit to him. I think he's been fantastic and... Um, Long may continue. Yeah, like, it was basically Pro Evo 2013 tactics yeah. where just hold down L1, smash <laughs> triangle, chip through ball over the top, run on, score. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> sad. But you're right, it's a great point, isn't it, about how uh, players do, they come up and they, they get to the Premier League. I remember, I can't remember what it was about a Liverpool player, but you see it so often that the players come to Liverpool as an example of it and it's like, I'm at Liverpool, great. It's like, no. You come to Liverpool and then you, you kick on a stage. But there's, you know, it's filled with it. Look, how many times we see these strikers have half a good season? It was, you, you mentioned like the Marcus Stewart, but you're like, you, you Clive Mendonkers and you're Andy Carrolls of this world. And the, 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 the flatters to deceive, they get a good goal scoring run because any striker can do that if they get a look. But they, they don't have the, the desire or the mentality to, to actually make themselves what they can be. Yeah, but I think the main thing is he's not just scoring the goals, he's sort of contributing other ways. He's linking up well with. 
um, Mares and Al Brighton. Um, and he's improved massively, you know, in terms of his intelligence and his technical play. Um, and, you know, he's, he's a real handful for defenders. And you've got to remember, he scored against probably the best keeper in the league at the weekend to break yeah. the record. No, absolutely. So, you know, he, he fully deserves it. And, it's, you know, he might even continue, you know, in this, in this vein of form and might even, you know, Rocket continue a, to go places. It's an interesting question, though. Does anyone think he will continue? Does anyone think he's going to continue, he's, you know, he'll score again at the weekend? Or well, how far can he go this it's, season? It's, it's, you know, that, reg, that goal consecutive is going to come to an end though, on, at some stage. But... I think what his target needs to be is twenty goals for the season, twenty plus, and then you're. And I think he'll achieve that. And you know, everything what I've seen about him, he looks a top quality player. And um, you know, I'm I'm really pleased that he broke the record. We we all love the story and everything. Um, and could he could he be the main striker for England come the summer? That's the thing as well. I mean. Because you look at Root. <laughs> no, 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 but no, you, no, you, no, listen. No, if you, if you look, at, look at the other, look at the other strikers out there. All right, Harry Kane's um, doing well at the moment. Yeah. But look at Rooney. He's not performing yeah. at all yeah. at the moment. No sign of Daniel Sturridge getting back to his storage uh, Sturridge, on the pitch. Yeah, back. Sturridge. Yeah. You know, if he can get over the injuries, but say if he doesn't, it could be Vardy leading the line. Well back as well. Yeah. I think what'll be interesting is what he does next. I mean, never mind the goal scorer. I mean, he's you're saying he's what twenty eight. He's at Leicester. He's he's gone all the way up. It it would almost be a shame to see his progression stop at Leicester. Yeah. Will he get that big move? Will someone come in for him? And mm. then it'll be interesting to see what happens if he does if get he that do big move. Because there. we've seen again so many players get that big move and suddenly just it all just stops for him. Yeah. Uh, and again, I suppose the Euros now is the ultimate target for him. He get, if he gets there, does he become me? To be honest, I wouldn't have him as the. As the player starts, because I just can't imagine how effective he'd be off the bench in the yeah. last half an hour for England Go when they're obviously down. trying to get back into the game. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, but it's up to him, isn't it? He seems to have the right attitude. He doesn't seem to have that Billy Big Bollocks thing, which he probably should have, yeah. because you know, you imagine he's done all that. He should be like, look at me now. I'm, you know, just a normal bloke, really. Just, yeah, a just a normal fella. Just a normal. But he likes a pint down the Out. down the pub. And some pork scratchings <laughs> just before kickoff. You know what I mean? Probably, I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? That, that comparison you made with Grealish earlier, that's brilliant. A brilliant comparison because it's so true. You know, you knuckle down and put the work in. There's been other players like Ravel, Morrison, and there's loads of them yeah. like that. You know, I remember ben, David Bentley when he was at Arsenal, you know, Jermaine Pennant. Yeah, Jack Wilshere. <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't say Jack Wilshere. It's the handbag but, you know, guys, what we're talking about. Guys who've got real talent. And that they have Jack Wilshere hasn't down. got real talent, is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying Jack Wilshere is not in that category. Why are you trying to <laughs> cause trouble? Because you know I mean? <laughs> well, it sells I'm sure, I'm, sure he, I'm sure he's a Paris Hilton accessory. Isn't he? That's, what that's what his role is in life. Yeah. Well, I can't know. believe you'd, you'd agree with that. I think that's a bigger problem in football, though, isn't it? There's not enough people who are prepared to work for it because they are given it, given it at such a young age. Oh, and you see like the other end of the scale when you've got your... You see Mario Balotelli. And the guy, and I, I mean, I know you probably love yeah. Mario Balotelli, but he's a bell end. Yeah, yeah to be is. fair. And you see him when, like, in training, when he was training with Italy, and he's like, they're all doing push ups, and he's lying down, yeah. looking around to see if he's been caught and stuff. And you're like, Come but he's on, a, mate. he's a bell end that still has like a signature boot, boot off, like uh, Puma. Yeah. So it's like he's still he's still getting. All these things. What would Jamie Vardy's signature oh, boot look man, like? Yeah, <laughs> I bet it would just be. I bet it would be black. It'd just be a It'd plain be, black nah, footy boot. It'd be a party boot, man. It'd, It'd be, be steel toe caps. <laughs> and, and they'd sell it exclusively in Giacomo. Yeah, <laughs> metal studs. Have a metal stud oh, or two. No yeah, blades. No. But it, it, it's annoying, though, isn't it, that people like Balotelli are out there and they're still reaping the rewards from being idiots. Yeah. Whereas you know, genuine footballers are obviously still reaping the rewards. But, it, you know, if we... If we I've seen, I've heard these things where now foot, uh, academies are doing all these mad things now where they're like saying to footballers, uh, you've got to make your own way to places rather than getting coaches and stuff. Just to sort of bring that reality back to footballers, why not just bring the old... That's sort just of, Tory Britain, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, they're not getting paid either. <laughs> why not just bring the old like YTS things back? You know, yeah. have them have them shoveling uh, shite up and you know <laughs> brushing the steps and cleaning the stadiums and all these kind of things. Why not just do that? Why are we, why are we allowing... Players, you know, to be on ten grand a week before they've even kicked the ball. I mean, let's, let's make them work for it because it pr it proves that when they work for it, you know, they'll probably succeed more. Absolutely, there you go. 
the call to arms <laughs> from, from Peter Party McFarlane. Party political broadcast brought to you by <laughs> Toffee TV. Jeremy Corbyn yeah. of football, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring back the cane. and get. get not get, get, that far, <laughs> I mean, what you do at home is up to you, mate. <laughs> That's 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 the end of us. Uh, anyway, yeah, th- <laughs> thanks very much for watching part one. Thanks very much for watching part one of the uh, Boston Social Club. We've got loads more to discuss on the show. We're going to be talking about Arsenal. They've apparently got an injury crisis. Not that, not that Robbie's ever mentioned it. Uh, we're going to be discussing whether Liverpool are in contention at the top end of the table. Uh, and basically the full-on shitness of Newcastle United, along with other things. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Ball Street YouTube channel uh, to get first access to all this brilliant content.